go ahead and open up the EQ. Uh, as before, you'll see this rumbling down here. Uh, we're just going to cue that out. I'm doing that a lot. These drums were recorded in a very boomy room. Now let's carve out a sound for this room microphone. First, I'm going to reduce around the 1K area, smoothing out the high mid-range frequencies. After that, the shearing frequencies up here can come down. That'll help smooth out this reverb as well. And by subtractively equalizing this, we're boosting these sibling frequencies. Go ahead and take this down in the 400 to 500 range. This is where a lot of the attack of the snare is, and I kind of want to keep that open for the close microphones and not the actual reverb. So, compare. There's something strange going on here. I think the room microphone now that we moved it might be out of phase with the snares so we'll check that right here with this phase switch phase is basically an element of time and it can cut or boost certain frequencies depending on how out of phase or in phase your signals are by flipping it we can hear the differences in out in i like it better in it sounds tighter you find that a lot when you're doing stuff with drums anyways that's how i would go about applying some compression and eq to my room microphone I'll just go through so you can hear the differences with and without the pro channel